we have one of the most famous entrepreneurs and leaders in the Netherlands, Afrojack here. I think ridiculousness is like, that's part of life. And like, it, it would be really bad to disallow yourself from that kind of stuff, because then you're just putting yourself in a box that isn't you. If you love something, don't try to prove to yourself that you love it because it's a necessity to love it. No one needs eight cars. I had eight cars at one point. That's just very silly. But that it's silly doesn't mean it's like, it's bad. It's okay to be silly sometimes. Eventually life is not just about being the best, but it's also about having a lot of fun. It sounds very awkward to say it, but it's actually true that most people that are out there DJing without the Ferraris, without the jets, without the all over the world, tens of thousands of people, they, like, they don't dream about that. They just like, they love to DJ. They're probably just as happy as me. If not happier than some other big DJs, because a lot of big DJs can't handle the pressure and stuff. And it's not just DJs, it's with everything. You get too big, too much pressure comes along, you don't know how to handle it because no one gets taught how to handle the growth of problems. In order to grow, you need to focus on the things you're not good at and make them better, not make the things you're good at better. Like becoming financially successful is a completely different thing from becoming successful at what you love. The first time I went to Amsterdam my whole life was when I had to DJ here. I grew up in Spijkenisse which is very close to Rotterdam. In Holland, it's like, if you're from Amsterdam, you don't talk to people from Rotterdam. If you're from Rotterdam, you don't talk to people from Amsterdam. I don't care. But like, since I grew up in this environment, basically no one ever would go to Amsterdam. Like, why are you going to Amsterdam? It's too complicated. People in Amsterdam, why are you going to Rotterdam? Stupid Rotterdam. It's like, it doesn't make sense, but that's how you grow up. I think Amsterdam's a beautiful city. Like you have the canals. And I think the streets are cool. And I think the people in Holland are very nice. They think that everyone in Holland smokes weed and does drugs, which is like, because it's always been legal here, it's been deemed okay. No one does. I think like 10% of everyone does. It's not illegal, but it's not very smart. Like it's not gonna make you smarter or make you make better decisions. I think that's a serious problem in society right now, that everyone is promoting being okay. Like, no one's promoting being great. Get welfare, get some weed, chill out and play PlayStation. Of course, it's fine for an individual, but if everyone starts doing that, the world's gonna go to shit really quickly. And the difference between poor and rich is gonna grow tremendously. You're always lost. We just pretend we're not lost by being on our phones and pretending we know how the world works. People are always lost and the only reason they cling on to social media is because it gives them a sense of formula, of understanding. Instagram, social media, everything, it's a constant confrontation with your own shortcomings. The only reason people still stay there is because that's the only reality they know. People only show the best of themselves. And then you think that's a reality your reality has to compete with. But it's not a reality. So you start trying to make your own life like not even a movie, but just outtakes, the best outtakes of a movie. So like you're putting yourself into a hole deeper and deeper and deeper, trying to be like how other people are, which is impossible because the other people aren't like that. It's, it's a facade, it's fake.